What's up guys, um, in this video I'm going to show you how to get, how to use DTN, DTDNS service for your Minecraft server. But before we get started, I want to say a big thumbs up to this guy who gave me a really awesome intro for my videos. Thank you to him, um, and yeah, go follow him. And yeah, um, back on to what we're doing, um, DTNS is just like my other video I made, um, you use, it's just a subdomain, um, for your Minecraft server and your external IP address, so you don't have to give your external IP address away to everyone, um, you just give them this little, like a website address. Um, so what you want to do is just want to create an account, obviously. Um, it's free. Um, and then you want to head on to host names. Um, and you just ignore the note. Um, you can get more host names, but why? Um, I've already got one here, but I'll show you how to get one. So what you want to do is you just want to pick a little thing you want before your actual subdomain. I recommend 3D game because it's game and it's just cool. So pick that one um, and then just enter in what you want it to be. Um, in this instance we'll just say the um, YouTube username. So. There it is, and and host name, and you're done. Um, so there's not much in settings to do. Um, so if your IP just changes, that's where you update it. Um, you don't need to do anything with this, and that's how you do it. So you give your friends that um, when they want to connect to your Minecraft server. And that's if you've port forwarded it. So you got to have port forwarded. And then that's what you give them. So make sure you do that. Um, and yeah. So this is an update from our other video though. Um, no IP thing. Yeah this is an update. This is just another one. I got requested. Um, by the same guy. To do one. To do the service. He recommended it to me. So it was great. So yeah. Thanks.